have our Type 99 last ditch rifle, which is a late war production. And it's basically got a rougher stock, rougher finish, and uh, a simplified rear sight which is just a peep sight with no uh, ladder or wing adjustment or anything. Just identical to the other one. And the only other thing is if you see the front sight, the little protecting ears aren't there. You know, I can still drift this rifle. And the overall finishing that is, is a little bit more on the rugged side. And this bore is not chrome line. My other gun has a chrome line bore. And again, we use just a standard Hornady full metal jacket, 174 grain uh, bullet, which is about 311 thousandths uh, diameter. Which uh, the bore on this rifle, like the other one, slopes to about 315. So your accuracy isn't going to get that. Uh, good. When I was shooting this and make, making the little videos, uh, I didn't have someone operate the camera and the range was crowded, so uh, I shot the other rifle first and didn't get on the paper at 100 yards, so I said I'd uh, give this one a whirl, and I went down and I only shot five rounds with it. Uh, the second round I got on the paper, figured out where I was, and adjusted the sights for it. And I'll show you a clip of me shooting this gun, and I'll put that up next, and then I'll come back and uh, show you the target and the results we got with it. And like I said, I only shot, I think, five rounds or something on like this. I really didn't work with it much. But it actually did fairly good.
okay, now you see the clips of me shooting it, and basically I shot the first rifle and couldn't get on the paper. Went to this one here, and I shot a couple rounds, and what happened was I got on the paper shooting down in here. So now I had an idea, I was to the right and low, so I was aiming up around in here, and I got a couple up here. One went, my first shot was way high up here, and then I said, okay, I came down adjusted here. All right, I was shooting still to the right. I wasn't quite over. I tried adjusting one way or the other, but I shot the, must have been 10 rounds or something, and then I broke off and uh, went to the other gun. The group here is kind of okay. You know, you got to remember I'm moving my sight picture and trying to do some Kentucky windage and changing my point of aim once I found I was down here. So I really didn't test this gun out too bad. This is probably a good three shot group. Uh, it probably shoots just as well as the other rifle without the chrome line. Uh, the barrel is the same groove diameter. Uh, the chrome lining basically helps protect it, and both bores are in good shape. Even the one without the chrome lining is, is in good shape. It's not pitted or rusted in any way. So probably once I develop, or like I said, I'm going to try to get a bullet of a bigger diameter to come closer to the bore diameter of these guns, and then I'm going to go back to the drawing board and try to draw some accuracy out and you know, really get on the paper good, get some good results. Okay.